In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, and be according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. They praise in unison your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Act of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, This man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, Therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed to you, for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time, times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me, will the Lord your God raise up for you among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, you are the children of the prophets and of the, of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring, all the families of the earth earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is a man, what, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, 
Yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you question, why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is my I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still in, incredulous, with joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand Scripture. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I feel like Christ is pretty much telling me what I have to preach on um, in today's Gospel. That repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in His name to all the nations. So I feel like I have to to preach today about the repentance of sins, um, that that repentance for the forgiveness of sins that Christ came to give to all of us. That's what it was all about. That's what the passion was all about. That's what the resurrection is all about. It's going kind to of sound kind of conceited, but it's all about you. All of it, every bit of it, is about you. It's about atoning for your sins. It's about lifting you up to a higher place with Him. It's all about you. That's what all of this, this church, this Mass, this Easter, it's all about you. 
It's all about how much God, Jesus Christ, loves you. Loves you in particular. Loves you uniquely. Not for the whole world, but for you. You see, Jesus Christ came to forgive your sins. He came to suffer and die in atonement to make up for your sins. And he rose from the dead to lift you up and make you an heir to the kingdom of heaven. To make you an heir to the kingdom of heaven. My brothers and sisters, that's what this is all about. That's what everything we do as a church is all about. Now, right now in, in Corona world, it's, it's hard, right? It's, it's difficult to see that at times. We're doing what we can. We're struggling and we're striving and we're trying to figure this out together as church. But in the midst of all this, we have an opportunity. In the midst of all the, the longing for this or the desire for that, we have an opportunity right now to grow closer to God in His absence. We have an opportunity to develop our spiritual life in a way that doesn't rely on what the church does for you. Because ultimately, ultimately, it's about you. Ultimately, in the end, what Christ came here to do was to help you, provide for you. So how have you opened your heart up to him today? What have you done today, other than watch this, this Mass here on Facebook, to grow closer to God? This Mass is what, is what the church is doing for you. What are you doing for Jesus Christ? What are you doing for the God who suffered and died for you? What are you doing to grow closer to Him in His absence? Because, my brothers and sisters, that is what's being offered to you right now. An opportunity within yourself to grow closer to God. Now here, soon, eventually, who knows the timetable, the churches will open back up, our economy will get going again. Everything will return back to a normal, right? Are you going to leave this time behind? Are you going to leave this experience in the past? Or are you going to take it with you? My brothers and sisters, this is what it's all about. You. Turning to our loving Father, we now offer him our prayers and our petitions. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Pope Francis, Archbishop Charles, and for all the bishops, that they continue to lead our church according to the will of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. 
for our nation, for all of those men and women who serve in the healthcare communities, first responders, police forces, and military, that they may serve this wonderful country of ours with honor and integrity. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here and for all of our families, that we may take this opportunity to grow closer to Christ in our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who will go without today, whether it be some emotional need or some physical need, that God may inspire us to provide them care. We pray to the Lord. For all of those who have died, and for all of those who will die today, that they may see the face of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, the sacrifice is your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in the hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. 
as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, 
one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, and Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May this mean we will have the Lord to me for us. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, I will not bring judgment with condemnation with you, but mercy be from your protection of my own body and the healing remedy. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can be safe for eternal life.
O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you, you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Go in peace, the Lord. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I totally messed that one up, didn't I? I should have, yeah. So, the Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. See what happens when you think about it too much. <laughs> Christ our Lord has risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, 
suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. Hymns of praise, then let us sing. Alleluia. Unto Christ our